Welcome back to Elden Ring. Before we continue back at the Lake of Rot, we have a couple ball bearings to use. I still find it really confusing this bell bearing shop one and two thing. Okay, so I'm going to offer Ghost Form Pickers Bell Bearing one. Is that going to open a new shop or just add something to one of the already existing shop? And the shops are actually not a shop, but a list of shops. Shop one, then you have to select Tops Bell Bearing. <laughs> this is going to get confusing real fast. Okay, I offered one. It's definitely not Tops Shop. Well, it's not patches either, so I guess either that did nothing or it added something here. Let's offer the other one. So that must have either done nothing or added something here. I'll be damned if I know what. Well, it was ghost form something, so it probably added the ghost glove warts. Hmm, maybe the uh, tier one one added glove wart one, two, and three, and then the next one added four, five, and six. Okay, so nothing we want. Back to the Lake of Rot. Yeah, before we explore more of the Grand Cloister, let's go over this way. The map doesn't actually show any building here, but clearly there is. One preserving bolus. Generous. I just want to check that there's no button here. No. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 22. I'll never find what that added unless I look for in the inventory. Nomadic Warriors 22. It's a key item. There it is. Rot pot, rot grease, and drawstring rot grease. Rot pot. Remember pots? Maybe they'd be more useful if I wasn't a magician? Or maybe they would be useful if I actually used them. Fetid pot, when did I get that? Gold-tinged excrement, gold shit, and mushrooms. Rot pot takes Aeonian butterfly and faded earthly flower. And toxic mushrooms. Don't actually have that many of those. Don't know where I got the ones that I do have from. All right, back to the grand cloister then. No item ahead. Dead end. Okay, I'll trust them this time. Bug. Offer fruit to a centipede? Is that an obscure Sekiro reference? Oh, these fellows.
strong foe ahead. Let's check out the blood waterfall. Oh. oh my god, how many times have I fought you? Okay, no, we gotta... <laughs> we need to use a preserving bolus. Ah. Oh fuck, I'm dead. I can't heal. And I have Scarlet Rot. Unless... Actually, hold on. Maybe... Maybe not. No, I'm dead. Oh! I might live? Nope. That's better. Oh, that's not better. I think I'm actually better off just using this opportunity to do more of this, rather than using the weak spot. Ah, oh, yeah! Oh my god, this weapon's so good! And that is, like, perfect for this enemy! That attack! Golden Sea, just need four more. One concerning thing is that I don't have any preserving boluses left, and I can't make more. I need more sacramental bud, and it says exceedingly rare to find. I don't even know where you get them. No, is that another coffin I can get inside of? River ahead, all the more try coffin.
Yep, I can rest in it. I guess it's gonna take us down here. What is this? Scorpion Stinger. Causes Scarlet Rot buildup. Doesn't actually need Int, Faith, or Arcane. Dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail glistening with Scarlet Rot. A ceremonial tool used by heretics crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. Coffin time! I love that coffins are becoming one of our most used means of transportation. No magic on that one. Pure gravity. Pure blunt force trauma. Ooh, pretty. We're here. So I guess if you go down deep enough, even though we went down a river of scarlet rot, at some point the water runs clear. So pretty. we go back up if we wanted to? No. No grace ahead. Really? Oh, but there's a stake. Yeah, there's a stake of Marika. Boss ahead. Friend required ahead. If only I had a friend. Oh, look at these. Like dangling beads.
Alright. Well, this sort of looks like the arena and feels like the setup of another um, ancient spirit. Or whatever they were called exactly. Um, I don't quite remember. But I kind of doubt it's going to be that for a third time. Nope, that is not it. Astel, natural born of the void. That, oh, <laughs> that thing is really cool. Wow, that is really cool. There's constellations in this cave. So cool. It's either it's well, no, it's definitely not the same as the thing we've seen, I think, twice now hanging from the ceiling, but it's very similar to it. Maybe it's a stronger version of it, like a more grown version of it or something. What a cool enemy. Okay, sprinting to the side does not work. I do have to actually dodge. What is that? Oh my god, look! Inside of its cracked skull, there's an eye. There's like a void eye. This thing is so unbelievably cool. I don't know, let's try my new weapon. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> really cool, though. Ah. Okay, no, that's really good.
Remembrance of the Natural Born. I think that might be the coolest boss I've seen in the entire game so far. That thing is unbelievably cool. And this weapon is unbelievably good. Cave. All oh, right. No, we came from down there. But now we can go over here. Actually, before we see what's over in that direction, let's see what we can get from the remembrance of the natural born. Bastards stars, it's a... <laughs> oh, hello! It's a strength, dex, and int flail with a special ability called nebula. Okay, I think we know what I'm getting, huh? Also, ash of war, waves of darkness, usable on great axes, great hammers, great spears, and colossal weapons. Okay, so only on big weapons. Sounds really good, but... Yeah, I'm not really a big weapon sort of person. This thing just looks like... Uh, based on the picture, it looks like it just... It's a flail made of... Planets and solar systems and... I don't know, it looks incredibly cool. I'm not even gonna read the description for it before just getting it as strong as possible. Uh, this is Somber Spending Stone 8, which is pretty high level. I do want to do the Wings of Estelle, because I, I know that's incredibly good. I want to make sure this gets as high as possible. Okay. Now there's only one nine. Which one do I give it to? Mm, I'll give it to the Wing of Estelle. <laughs> the next tier up is Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. I suppose I could upgrade my shield. Okay, let's check it out. Scales B with int. Nice. Yeah, it does a lot of magic damage. 168 plus 169. It does more from the scaling than it does just in base magic damage. Oops, didn't mean to take it off. Uh, flail, which deals magic damage, having been imbued with power by the remembrance of Estelle. Formed of the same many-colored star debris that comprise the form of the natural-born of the Void. Nebula. Imbue the natural-born stars with magic to perform a sweeping strike. This attack leaves a dark cloud of stars in its wake that lingers briefly before exploding. Oh, that sounds so similar to the Wing of Estelle. What's the weight? 5.5. Well, a little bit less weight than the Cold Knight Rider flail. So if I was to compare these two, just based on their, like, base damage, they're quite similar. Wing of Estelle is, of course, plus one more. Does a bit more physical damage. Um, the... The Bastard's Stars does more magic damage, actually. Because of the bonus. But yeah, pretty similar. Look at it. It makes a noise, too. Can you hear it? Okay, let's try the special. That is so cool! Yeah, very similar to the Wing of Estelle. Like, it seems to be the same sort of attack. Except... It's in a 360 around you. I wonder if one does more damage than the other. Oh yeah, I gotta level up. It's 
Two levels. Hmm. Let's put two more into int. Crouching required ahead. I should probably read these. Praise the tarnished. Something incredible. Seek mage and then treasure chest. Seek mage and then treasure chest. Are they talking about Renala? I remember there was a locked chest next to them that we were never able to open. You cannot proceed without a ring of oath. Well, the box is still locked and I can't talk to them about it. Well, with our little coffin adventure done, let's explore the lower town of the capital. Oh. There's an item I forgot up there. I'll probably remember it sometime. Maybe. If you don't get through the full attack. Oh, no, no. <laughs> God damn it. I was going to say, if you don't get through the full attack, um, whatever part of the attack you did get through, like 20% of it, you get, you still get those like little explosions left that will explode. So you don't have to get through the whole thing to get the explosion. You can get a partial explosion. And this is a great excuse to get that item before I forget. And a great excuse to test out my weapon. Okay, it's a lot less concentrated. The explosion, so I think it is much better against, like, I don't know, if you're being surrounded or a large group, perhaps. Yeah, like 600 damage. I'm pretty sure if I did this... Oh, that does significantly more. So yeah, I think the Wing of Estelle is still going to be my go-to weapon for single enemies, but... With groups, I think this will be great. Um, this also might be good against enemies that are so huge that you're just, like, underneath them. You know where every single part of the explosion is going to hit them, pretty much. Or the upper part before I go into the sewers. The upper part of the downer part. Ooh, side of grace. Please get it before the nasty man comes inside. Lower Capital Church. 
Lionel's armor. The round boy. Deathbed dress. Extremely thin and sheer white dress worn by the deathbed companion as she embraces the dead. Slowly replenishes the HP of nearby allies, but not that of the wearer. The touch of the fabric is exceedingly soft, so as not to harm even the most withered corpse while still sharing her warmth. It has really good magic protection and incredible vitality and focus, but everything else is terrible. It's actually pretty. I didn't realize it was like a light blue. It looks just pure white in the picture. Ooh. I actually quite like that. Hmm. It's just... It's really, really, really bad at physical protection. <laughs> But I could kind of maybe make up for it by making my other armor heavier pieces. Possibly. Let's check out the Lionel armor. Round iron armor with a banner extending from its back. Worn by Lionel the Lionhearted. When this chivalrous, dauntless knight met Fia, who had been driven from her home, he declared himself to be her father. Oh, that is so heavy. 21.2. That is the heaviest armor I've ever seen. Yeah, most heavy armors are like 15. Yeah, around 15. <laughs> I'm so round. nice to have a change of pace. I have been wearing the blue cloth vest for a very long time. How does it look with a shield on my back? Eh, still kind of weird because it has that cloth clipping thing. But it seems like most things with capes have that. <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing oven mitts. Okay, I think I'm actually going to try going with this. So I am going to stick with the dress, the deathbed dress, which is extremely light armor, but I'm kind of making up for it by going with heavier stuff for the other parts. Um, I changed the gauntlets just because I wanted them to look a little bit more elegant. Went with the queen's bracelets. Uh, the crucible greaves are in the main way that I'm making my armor heavier, but you can't really see it very much because it's just peeking out the bottom a little bit. So that's very heavy. And the Crimson Hood, which does have more armor, I think, than the headband, right? Oh yeah, much more armor than the headband. But that was mostly just because I like how it looks. I'm a woman of many, many, many layers. Although now that I think about it, the cape does kind of cover up my back. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I think I kind of like it with the back exposed. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. You look nasty. Merc mask. Mask with long, hideously twisted horns worn by the omen killers. Increases strength. Mm, increases it by two. Bears the smirking face of an elder twisted in wicked delight. This visage is carved in the image of the evil spirits that haunt the omen in their nightmares.
right. That's where we fell down into the sewers. There's the hand. Okay. Yeah, I came from here before. There is the elevator that we can take down, that we've already taken down, to get here. Anyone else just in awe of this weapon? I still can't believe how good it is. Precious item ahead. Wait, really? No.
Oh. I've been here before. Yeah. Okay, we just unlocked a shortcut, I guess. Okay, I don't think there's anywhere left to explore. <laughs> I don't know why I opened the map. There's nothing to see. Uh, I don't think there's anything left to explore except the sewer level now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, didn't mean to drink. Um, I can change my immunizing horn charm back to Radigan. Ah, I already explored this place. Be wary of behind. Eh? Oh, there we go. Wait, what is that? What the hell is that? Proof dried liver. Temporarily boosts holy damage negation. see. So this now is the upper part of the lower part of the city, but the other half of the upper part of the lower part of the city. <laughs> right. Bravery required ahead and then seek cellar. for Thunderbolt.
Okay, I hear somebody, like, shaking with fear. They sound like they might be an NPC. Okay, we've already been down there. Perfect use of that weapon. I think I was hearing those enemies. go. Visions of dung. Okay. I mean, a rune arc's, I guess, not that rare at this point, but it's not dung. Subterranean shunning grounds. Hmm. Oh, that thing has a lot of health. There's a bunch more of them, too. I said there was a grace ahead. Ah, yes.
These all look like potential false walls. Damn, they are tough. They're tough. Blood soaked manchettes and blood soaked mask. Ugh. Hair ahead, seek grass. Grass? Someone else said praise the bow. You know what? I bet these will... No, never mind. There was another door I was able to cast them and they spawned inside. This door is too thick, I guess. A magic glint blade will be able to. Ah, forget it. Fit through the holes. <laughs> okay, we could fall down there. 
There's a ladder over here. Is there even another pathway to go? That door's locked. Now that's a dead end. I don't think there's anything over there. Well, now surely I explored it already and just forgot. Let's fall down over here. Maybe I'll go this way. Ew, what the? Oh, they're snails. I like snails, but these are particularly gross snails. Not gonna hurt them, though. Wah! Excuse me. Oh my god, this place is a maze. Ah, okay, I think I do actually have to kill them. I'm sorry. They're kind of cute, but... They do attack me and they are blocking my way. It's so cramped in here. Wow, that one was particularly... horny? Yeah, those are horns. Just had to double check that they're not worms, but no, they're horns. side. Hold on, I better open this. Now we have a shortcut. Okay, that's a whole thing.
God, this weapon is so good. Warped Axe. Oversized double-headed axe with a bizarre, almost melted appearance. Brute strength is the only thing required to wield this weapon, which appears to have taken quite the beating itself. 24 strength. <laughs> oh, I want to see that thing. What does it actually look like equipped? Just like the picture. Okay, that's a whole thing over there. So, let's go back into the sewers, I guess. I mean, well, this is all the sewers. But let's go back into the pipes, specifically. I want to see where the ladder leads. Probably just to a different place in the pipes. Oh no, this is a whole different thing. This is like... I think this is outside the pipes. I think I'm standing on the pipes you get to run through. There's crabs down there. Bye bye. Okay, you're literally in the pipe. Like, or something. Yeah, there you go. Hacker. I just keep trying to auto-select. I keep trying to select something because they seem to be everywhere. See where this goes. So it could be a shortcut. Be wary of the left. Thank you.
Omen Cleaver. Shadow Bait. Probably an incantation. Yeah, Shadow Bait is an incantation. It's a curved greatsword. Heavy bladed curved sword of colossal size awarded to Omen as a tool of war. This weapon is made to take advantage of brute strength. The pattern etched upon the blade is the remnant of a deteriorative, deteriorative malediction. Indeed, when bestowing a weapon, preparations must be made for taking it away. <laughs> Whoa. I love that. Just that combination of words. Deteriorative mal malediction. It's hard to say. Yeah, it actually only needs 19 strength. Not too bad. I can wield it one-handed right now just because I'm ruined up. Or arced up, I guess. R rune arced up. Ah, and we have another shortcut. Nope. 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 Just shitely shy of a level. Okay, I actually have so many runes, I could just... Hold on, let me see how many levels we can get. Okay, I think I'll save a couple, but with everything else, I have 287,000 runes, is it? Yes. Two, three, four, four levels. One to int, one to dex. Let's get more health. What else do I eat? I don't really feel like I need more FP, but of course it's not a bad thing. Mm, another point to int. And I think that's a good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to explore more of the capital.